Today on NCIX Tech Tips, we're going to be talking about power supplies, and more specifically, we're going to be looking at efficiency. So I have a couple of power supplies here with me today, and I also have a fairly high-powered gaming rig, my own. Okay, so the first one is the OCZ Z-Series 850-watt power supply. What's special about the Z-Series is that it is 80-plus gold certified. So that means that regardless of the load you're putting on the power supply, it will deliver over 87% efficiency. Now, the same rules still apply as with you know, normal mortal power supplies where you're going to get the best efficiency out of it at about 50 to 60 percent load, so that means around 450 watts, you will get the best efficiency. But we're going to be comparing it against an old OCZ Game Extreme 700 watt. Now, this is not an 80 plus unit, so we want to look at if you've got a decently high powered rig, if you upgrade your old power supply to a new 80 plus gold power supply, how much are you actually looking to save on your yearly electricity bill? So I've Frankensteined the Game Extreme 700 watt into my system here, and we're simulating an idle desktop. So I've got a couple windows open in Internet Explorer. Other than that, the computer's not really doing anything. Steam's running in the background, not doing anything much of anything. Okay, so we're looking at about 187 or 185. So we're going to round up 190 watts of idle power consumption. So the way we're going to do our calculation today is we're going to try the computer both at idle and load. Okay, and we're going to account for a few different usage scenarios, depending whether you leave your computer on 24-7, or whether you turn it off at night, or whether you're like an extreme gamer and you're actually using your computer for like 12 hours a day. Okay, and then we're going to compare the Game Extreme versus the Z Series 850 watt, and look at how many dollars you'll actually save from upgrading over the course of a year. Now, there is, is a key difference in the energy rates depending where you live. They are either more or less. So where we're located in Vancouver, it's actually about seven cents per kilowatt hour. But if you're in the States, you can be paying about 10 cents per kilowatt hour as average, but California, you're looking at about 15 cents per kilowatt hour. So we're gonna do kind of a best case, which is here, and a worst case scenario, and compare the numbers that way as well. Okay, so I'm playing Dragon Age Origins here. I've got an instance of Prime 95 running in the background. This is a pretty heavily loaded system. We're using the RAM, the CPU, and the graphics cards to their full extent, and we're looking at about a 450 watt load. Now something to bear in mind, even if your system only tops out at 450 watts, you want to remember that a power supply is always most efficient from about 50 to 60 percent load, and that is where you're also going to get the most silent operation out of it. So I'm going to take off my mic for a minute here and let you listen to the game extreme 700 watt that power supply is working pretty hard and the reason for that is because it is not at its most efficient at this kind of a load level so we're going to compare it to the game extreme 850 watt coming up in just a moment Okay, so we've got our Z-Series Frankensteined into my computer now, and we're looking at a significant drop in power consumption. So we're just running our idle scenario. We got Internet Explorer over. We're not really doing anything with the computer, and we're running at 159 watts right now, which is, oh, 160 watts. So that's a 15% improvement in the power consumption at idle. So if you leave your computer on 24-7, just idling all year for a year, you are going to save 15% on the power bill for your computer. So uh, goodbye to this thing. So stay tuned, we're going to do our load test and then we'll come back with the conclusion. So we're back to running Dragon Age Origins now and you can see that with our new and updated power supply we're actually looking at about 405, oh 400 and, oh uh, it's varying, 410 let's say watts of power consumption so that's about a 10 percent improvement in load power consumption in addition to the 15 percent improvement we saw in idle power consumption. In addition to that when I take off my mic and put it next to the Z series 850 watt you can see it's not working nearly as hard and it's running near silent because 400 watts is about a 50% load on this power supply. It's at its most efficient and it's most effective. So here you go. Yeah, so there's pretty much no point in putting the mic next to it because it isn't making any noise. So stay tuned for the conclusion and we'll crunch the numbers and show you just how much you're going to save upgrading to an 80 plus gold power supply. So overall, I think this was really interesting. So we moved from our Game Extreme 700 watt to our 
850 watt Z series power supply and we saw some pretty cool numbers. So first of all, let's go through the three different scenarios. So we had our off at night typical user. So four hours of intense usage and 10 hours of idle with 10 hours of being off at night. Then we had a 24 seven scenario where the person leaves their computer on all day, but maybe only uses it intensively for like four hours. So we calculated it that way. And then we did an extreme gamer. So you've got it idling for 12 hours, it's always on. And then we've got gaming for 12 hours. So being intensely used 12 hours out of the day. Okay, so it may be a little bit unrealistic, but believe it or not, the scenario where we actually saw the biggest improvement was the one where it's left idle for 20 hours and it's only used for about four hours a day. We saw about a 15% improvement in the cost and that amounted to about $22 a year if you're living in BC paying about seven and a half cents for power or about $44 if you're living in California and you're paying about 15 cents per kilowatt hour for power. So that means that this power supply, if you're living in California, will actually pay for itself in about four and a half years because it costs about 200 bucks. So that's pretty crazy. And that's not the only benefit of an efficient power supply because a newer, more modern power supply will deliver clean, efficient power to your components, which will make them last longer. And it will also run quieter. So you don't have to listen to your power supply whenever you fire up a game or any other video editing or whatever else you're doing. So thank you for checking out our NCIX Tech Tips on power supply efficiency. I hope you've enjoyed it.